All right, everyone, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. Now, right off the bat, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I invite you to do so. Hit that little subscribe button, hit that bell so you're always notified whenever I upload videos. Also, check me out on TikTok. I am now on TikTok doing gardening videos on TikTok. So I invite you to go over to TikTok and follow. Also, check out the Facebook and Instagram pages. The links to those are right there. And now, in this video, what I want to do is continue working on preparing the garden for fall. Now, there's not a ton of stuff to do in, in regards to this, but there's enough to where I wanted to break this down into two videos. So today we're going to do some harvesting. I got a bunch of stuff that needs to come out. We're going to lay down some compost. I'm going to explain why that's important. I'm going to show you how to start some seeds and we're going to get rid of some plants that need to come out. So let's grow. Okay, as you can see right there behind me, we've had some crazy weather here in Houston over the last uh, week or so with some bad, bad storms, and my and my okra's been knocked over. So I've got to harvest these, get them back up if I can. If not, they got to come out. As you can see on these okras, they survived just fine, but those completely fell over. Now they are very top heavy, as you can see right there. Is what it is, but it's time to start doing some harvesting. Okay, so if you look right here, these root, this root system has really been compromised. So I wasn't going to do this. I was going to try to set these up, but I've got carrots in here that have been planted that need the sun. So like I always say, be prepared to change your plans when you go out to the garden. What I'm going to go ahead and do, I guess, right now is actually pull those out. Um, I didn't want to do that this soon, but the wind compromised them, so... They gotta go. Okay, now that that's done, let me explain something that you saw me do. I didn't rip out the plants. What I decided to do is pull them up and then if they had those long running roots, I cut them. I try not to disturb the soil as much as possible, so that's why I'm just leaving the roots in. They'll decompose in place, so it's fine. But yep, there's all the okra plants. And then again, I try to leave as much of the soil actually in the bed. All right, everyone, so hey, I am excited to harvest that right there. My first eggplant of the year. Now that's not the biggest eggplant that I've ever grown, but it's important to start getting these off so the plant will keep producing flowers. So <laughs> this is the bounty that I just got. So pretty good harvest right there when I wasn't really expecting to harvest a lot. And again, I am really excited about that eggplant. Habanero peppers, jalapenos, some serranos in there, some of these uh, sweet peppers there. So all in all, pretty good little harvest. Okay, so I just showed the bags of compost. Now, why is it important to lay down a layer of compost? Well you want to continue amending your soils the best time to do that that i have found is in between seasons or when you're prepping for the next one what i'm going to do is i'm going to lay down the compost about a half inch thick layer over where i took out all those plants all those tomato plants and i'm just going to let nature kind of push the, the nutrients down into the soil because we're expecting another week of rain so that's perfect let nature do its thing. I do not till up my soil. I don't turn it. I just put, I just lay the material on top and let it just slowly go down in. The reason for that is, is I don't want to disturb what's going on under the soil where all the worms have created their paths and all the mycorrhizal uh, fungi have created their highways. I don't want to disturb any of that. I just want to add to it. So that's what I'm going to do with the compost right now.
Okay, so when you're laying down compost, there's really not a lot to it. Make sure, one, make sure you use a compost that you are very, very comfortable with, that you've researched. That's really important. You want to be confident in your material. So I use this brand here in the Houston, Dallas area. The company's named Living Earth. 100% organic, 100% green company. Disclosure, I used to work for them, so I know the company is good. I vouch for them and I use their products literally everywhere when it comes to soil or mulches. <clears throat> so as I just showed, I'm starting my seeds for fall. Now, last fall, what I did is I just planted directly into the ground and I had mixed success. Some, some did well, some plants didn't. So this year, what I wanna do is I wanna do the seeds like I did for spring. You know, start your seeds in trays. If y'all like trays, use your trays. I don't like the trays, so I've had very bad success rates with the trays. So this time I'm going to start using individual cups. And these Bonnie cups, these Bonnie pots are perfect. So if you go get starts from say Home Depot or Lowe's, save these and use them um, if you want to. That's what I'm doing. This is a cabbage and I've already got one. And as you can see, I've already got a start going. <laughs> I caught you. Last year I had a horrible experience with cabbages. I didn't have any grow. I don't know if that was because they were put directly into the soil or what. So that's why I'm going to start the cabbages in these cups this year. I've also got tomatoes going because I want to try to have a fall tomato crop. And being in this area, this zone 9A, we have an extended fall here. And to be completely honest, we don't really have a winter. I mean, it'll get cold, but not like where I'm sure some of y'all are up in the north. So it's really, really important to know everything about your zone, the zone that you live in. When are your seasons? How, when are your first and last frost dates? Those kind of things. So this year, again, I'm trying something new. We'll see if it works. But for those of you that have not done starts, whether it's in these or in trays or whatever, I'm going to give you a real quick class here. Um, it's really easy and there's really not a lot to it, but it's important to do it correctly. So right off the bat, the first thing is you need to get a seed starting mix, not a potting soil, a seed starting mix. And the reason for that is, is that the seed starting mix, it, it's just a bunch of peat moss, cocoa core, uh, pretty much that's what it is. It gives the seed a nice bed to grow in. And seed starting mixes don't have nutrients because seeds, when they start to get germinated and grow, they don't need the nutrients right away. They just need a good base. So a good seed starting mix is what you need. Any brand that you feel comfortable with, go for it. Now, I've already pre-moistened this seed starting mix. And, and as you can see, this doesn't look like a soil, right? Because it's not. All right, so to keep these separate, I'm going to use this cup this time. And all I'm going to do, because I'm going to plant some dad sun, what are these? Dad sun, some dad sunset tomatoes. I think these are just so pretty. So I'm going to do an example here. I'm going to plant one of the, I'm going to plant two seeds out of here in this cup. And I'm only going to fill it to about right here. Seriously, dude? Okay, so as you can see, I went ahead and already put in the two holes that I'm going to put the tomato seeds in. Just about a quarter inch. You don't need to go real deep with it, with tomato seeds. But that's it. Now, now if you're wondering why I didn't fill this thing completely to the Since top. I'm planting tomatoes in here. For those that don't know, tomato stalks, they get these little hairs that grow off of the stalk. If you put soil around those little fiber, fibrous hairs, which I'm showing right here, they will turn into roots. So if you want to have a strong tomato plant, what I do and what a lot of people do who've done tomatoes is as the stalk grows and those little fibrous hairs start to grow out, then you fill in the soil around it. And when the stalk, when the plant gets, you know, about a eight inches or so tall, that base is now this entire system of roots, of roots to transplant. So this comes down to knowing your plants and learning and experimenting because the first year i didn't know this i had no clue and i lost a lot of tomatoes honestly so 
that's what I've been doing. That's what I did over the spring and it worked great. So I'm going to do it again. Okay. So I got my two seeds. We're going to go ahead and just plop them in, get them where they're supposed to be. And then move this one over. Come on, Chad. There we go. Push that one down. Down. All right. Once you get the seeds down in the holes like they are there, you just want to pack it in. You want to create a good, solid support system around that seed. The soil should be hugging the seed like a hand in a glove. Okay, last thing to do would be to label this, but since this is the only cup that I'm using that's a black cup and not one of these see-through cups, I'm not going to label this one because I know what it is. But <laughs> I highly advise you to label your plants because I always forget what plant is in what whenever I do this out here. I'm very bad at labeling the plants when I put them in the ground, <laughs> is what it is. But uh, when it comes to these cups, I'm very, very, very particular because you, you, you don't want to be planting, you know, a cabbage where you're plant, where you expect to plant like tomatoes. You know what I mean? That just, no, probably not a good idea. So that's starting seeds in cups, very easy. Again, seed starting mix, seed starting mix, seed starting mix not a potting soil trust me seed starting mix now the only difference in spring as opposed to now is whenever i'm pre whenever you're prepping for spring usually it's still really cold outside so you'd have a heat mat and heat lamps or uh, you'd have a heat system heat mats uh, grow lights all that stuff and you're inside but right now because it's summer it's fall going into fall the weather's perfect i'm just leaving the cups outside and letting them grow out here hey everyone so i want to do one more thing now i'm going to leave a link to the video that i'm about to talk about right here and that's the basil the endless basil video where you take basil cuttings you stick them in glass jars and then you can actually grow your own basil forever and not go buy five dollar starts every time you turn around i'm done doing that so this is the jar i'm talking about right here. now as you can see look at all the roots in there this is one month. Well, it's time to plant them. And I'm going to plant these basils where I don't have basil right now. And that's gonna be over there where I'm gonna have my fall peas and uh, cucumbers growing. Cause basil helps mask the smell of plants from certain, from certain pests. So you wanna plant basil everywhere. Okay, so right now I planted some cucumbers right in here about a week ago, they should have popped through the ground now. So I think those seeds are probably duds. And honestly, they were really old seeds. So I'm not surprised here, but over here, I've got peas starting to come up. You can see right there, that's a pea plant, pea plant, pea plant. So the peas are gonna start coming up. So these basils, I've got three basils in here, three basil plants are all gonna go right in this section. So I'm gonna use my shovel here. It's a garden guru, great company right here. And we're going to go ahead and just dig dig a nice little hole. I'm going to do a basil plant on the ends. Okay, so there we go. We've got the holes dug for at least two of them. I'm going to do another one right back over here. Put bone meal and blood meal at the bottom of all the holes that I dig for the plant. Just gives, a, gives that plant, the root system, just a great punch of energy to get going. I'm going to go and take these out. Look at that root system, y'all. I mean... Good night, that is so amazing. So we're just gonna gently separate these roots from each other. And look at that, man. And even this one has a really good root system. In fact, we'll put this one right here in the front. We're gonna go ahead and just put that one in. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just tighten this thing up, get it in there nice and nice and good. Might as well use the water, water them in. Then we'll plant this one and we'll be good to go. All right, everybody, and that's it. Got three basil plants planted. That would have been 15, 
20 bucks worth of basil plants at you know a home depot or lowe's that was free again check out that video it, it totally tells you how to do everything and i even have a recipe to use some fresh basil for something hint hint <laughs> all right everyone so that's the video i hope you all enjoyed it I hope you learned something from it and remember right now is the time to be preparing for fall now i know for my area i might be getting a little bit of an early jump on the fall garden but i don't really think i am last year i waited kind of long last year i think i waited too long and that's probably why i didn't have the success that i had so this year i'm being really proactive this was a short video i didn't want it to be a long one and i'm actually cutting out a section of where i'm taking out some plants because you all saw that in the first video when I took out the Chinese long beans. Well, now I'm taking out these purple eye whole peas and then the tomatoes that are in that bucket over there. It's just time for those to go. And then I can start reutilizing that area after I amend the soil, throw down some really good uh, fertilizers and composts and things and just really get everything going for fall. So hey, if y'all enjoyed this video, please share it, like it, and do me a favor and comment down below. I love the comments if I haven't told you all that already. <laughs> also check out the uh, other social media pages. I'm really enjoying the TikTok stuff. I didn't uh, think I would, but I'm totally enjoying it. As always, everyone, shine bright and harvest hard. Bye. It's early and I am just having an issue right now. I don't know why. All right, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to continue preparing the garden for fall. Now, I broke this into two videos because I just didn't want to have a 40-minute video. That just seems too long to me. And uh, it just seems too long, right? 40 minutes? No, I'm not doing that. So in this video, we're going to lay out compost. We're going to plant some basil. We're going to get some seeds going while I've got weed eaters going on behind me.